Perhaps you spent too much money or you bought things that weren't on your Christmas list. Well, if so, now is the time to correct those mistakes and plan for the next holiday season. 2012 already. Jane O'Donnell, consumer columnist from USA Today, joining us. So, Jana, besides overspending, uh, tell us about some of the shopping regrets that people start to feel about now because they're getting those credit card bills about now. Exactly. And um, all of them are pretty much variations on overspending, but mm -hmm. things like losing track of your purchases. We all um, can do well by shopping early, but I don't know about you, but I tend to hide the purchases from the little one in my house yes. and then you can forget you even, even bought it. <laughs> so you, you obviously need to uh, keep close track of what, you bu what you've bought. Um, also, you know, a lot of us will get these kind of last minute jitters and say, oh, there's not going to be enough under the tree and then buy too much. Yeah. These last minute purchases tend to be not very well thought out and poorly researched. Okay, so your bottom line is you got to learn from those mistakes. First, you got to assess and identify what those mistakes were. Learn from them because even though it's January and Christmas and all the, you know, gift-giving holidays are behind us, you say time now to start planning for your budget for a better 2012. How do you do that? Well, you really want to look back on what you did spend. So it's a good idea to go through your credit card bills, your, look at what your debit card purchases are, and hopefully you'll remember if you paid just cash. Mm -hmm. But look at how much that was. If that's a reasonable number, if, if you think it's reasonable to do that again, whether you mm -hmm. can afford it, take that number, divide it by 10, and then take that amount out of your checking account and put it in a, perhaps a no-fee Christmas club or some sort of separate account that you're not going to mm -hmm. tap throughout the year that that will be your Christmas account. So the idea is you want to maybe spend that much, if that was what was comfortable this you know, past year, or, or stick within that goal that you just set of how much money you're going to be saving per month. And don't overextend yourself. That's right, because then you're not going to have you're not going to have the big year-end credit card bills. Yeah. You know, you can actually spend a little bit throughout the uh -huh. year to even you know have a, have a less of an effect at the, okay. at the year. Okay, so let's talk about how you're going to spend throughout the year because you say there are certain months where there are certain deals if you know that you want to you know get Johnny you know some sort of electronic then there's a certain month out of the year where it may be best to do that and that's how you need to you know plan your budget that's right. Electronics can be a little iffy. There's some great deals to be had late January and early February. Of course, if you're buying a little Johnny one, he might not want it, or there may be a newer version by the end of the year. But um, uh, one of the things, the two of the things I recommend, I mean, winter clothing, I mean, who doesn't like a nice pair of leather gloves or great mittens or a great hat? Get those now. Stock, the, stock them away for next year. In June, there's some great white sales. Um, if you've got a child going away to college, that's a great time to, mm -hmm. to stock up on on those kinds of things. The uh, June white sales, I'm told by dealnews.com, are even better than the January white sales. Wow, and jeans, jeans in September and October, did I see that correctly? That's the yeah, time that's, to buy that's jeans. Yeah, that's a great time. Huh. Yeah, that's, okay. If you, if you got the right size and the right <laughs> style, it's a good time to that's buy That's right, don't gain, somebody. don't lose any weight. <laughs> oh, and then November, <laughs> okay, you've got the uh, HD TVs and laptops, and then December, those are the other electronic games and bicycles as well. All right, thanks so much for helping us to plan already. We're still, you know, trying to shake it all off from 2011, but time to start thinking and planning Johnson. for 2012 so you don't uh, go overboard. Jane O'Donnell, thanks so much. Exactly.